referring to the profile of the Teburang Islamic Boarding School published by Pustaka Teburang, 2011. Kyai Haj Hazim Asyari is the founder and caregiver of the Teburang Islamic Boarding School, Jambang Regency, East Java. His figure is known as a scholar, thinker and warrior, as well as a national hero who became one of the great figures of Indonesia in the 20th century. Kyai Haj Hazim Asyari was born on Tuesday Klawan, 24 Zulkata 1287 Hijriya, coinciding with February 14, 1871 AD, at the Gedang Islamic Boarding School, Tambakreho Jombang Regency. He is the third of eleven children, the son of Kiai Asyari and Nyai Halima. From the father's path, Kiai Hazim's lineage continued to Maulana Ishaq to Imam Jatur Sadiq bin Muhammad al Bagir. While from the mother's line, the lineage was continued to the leader of the Majapahit kingdom, King Grajaya VI Lembu Patang, whose son was Kerbin, or Yaka Tinkir. In recorded history Yaka Tinkir was the first king of Pajong 1568 AD, with the title Sultan of Pajong or Prince Adiwijaya. The caretaker of the Jombang Teburang Islamic Boarding School, Kiai Haj Abdul Hakim Mafuds revealed, Kiai Hazim started traveling to study at a number of Islamic boarding schools at the age of 15. He was a student at the Wanoreo Jombang Islamic Boarding School, the Probolingo Wanakoyo Islamic Boarding School, then the Langidan Tuban Islamic Boarding School, and the Surabaya Trangulus Islamic Boarding School. At the age of 15, he began to leave home, became a santry and lived in several Islamic boarding schools. Referring to the book, Profile of the Teburang Islamic Boarding School, Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari continued to seek knowledge at the Kademangan Islamic Boarding School, Bangkalan Madura, under the tutelage of Kiai Khalil bin Abdul Latif. Then in 1307 Hijri or 1891 AD, Kiai Hazim returned to Java and studied at the Siwalan Islamic Boarding School, Hanji Sidorja, under the guidance of Kiai Yaku. At the age of 21, Hazim Asyari married Nafisa, one of Kiai Yaku's daughters. The marriage took place in 1892 AD, 1308 H. Not long after, Kiai Hazim with his wife and in-laws left for Mecca to perform the pilgrimage. Opportunities in the Holy Land are also used to deepen knowledge. He studied almost all religious disciplines, especially the science of Hadith. However, while in Mecca, Hazim Asyari's wife died. Likewise with his son who was born in Mecca. Had returned to his homeland, Hazim Asyari returned to Mecca. In the second period of returning to Mecca, Kiai Hazim diligently met great scholars to study and take blessings from them. 
Because his knowledge is considered qualified, Kyai Hajj Hazya Masyari is trusted to teach at the Grand Mosque along with seven other Indonesian scholars, including Sheikh Nawawi Al Bantani and Sheikh Anmad Khatib Al Manakabali. In Mecca, Kyai Hajj Hazya Masyari had many students from various countries. Some of his students, including Sheikh Sadullah Al Maimani, Mufti in Bombay, India, Sheikh Umar Hamdan, Hadith expert in Mecca, and Al Sayahab Ahmad ibn Abdullah, Syria. Then students from the country, including Kyai Haj Abdul Wahab Chazbullah Tambakbaraz Jambang, Kyai Haj Raiden Asnawi Kudus, Kyai Haj Dalan Kudus, and Kyai Haj Bisri Syanshari Dananyar Jambang, and Kyai Haj Sala Tayu. In the seventh year in Mecca, Precisely in 1899-1315 H. Kiai Haj Hazya Masyari married Khadijah, the daughter of Kiai Ramli from the village of Karankots Kidiri. After the marriage, Kiai Hazyam and his wife returned to Indonesia. In 1899, Kyai Haj Hazya Masyari founded the Teburang Islamic Boarding School. Initially, there were eight students, then three months later it increased to 28 people. Two years after establishing the Pesantren, Khadijah, the wife of Kyai Haj Hazya Masyari passed away, leaving no son. In the late 1920s, Nyai Nafiko died. Kiai Hazyam later married Nyai Masaroro, and they were blessed with four children. After receiving input from several Kiai who cared for the Pasantra, as well as instructions from his teacher, Kiai Haj Kolil bin Abdul Latif Bangkali. Kiai Haj Hazyam Asyari founded the Naglatul Ulama organization. The Ulama revival organization was officially established on 16 Rajab 1344 Hijriya, or coincided with January 31, 1926 AD, with Kiai Haj Hazyam Asyari believed to be Roy's Akbar. According to Kiai Haj Abdul Hakim Mahfuds, the caretaker of the Teburang Islamic Boarding School, the establishment of new was not just a desire to build ranks. NU was established to respond to the situation in the Islamic world at that time, which was being hit by a conflict of understanding between the notion of renewal and the notion of Islamic schools of thought. In a situation of increasingly sharp disagreements, said Hakim Mahfuds, NU comes with more moderate thoughts. The great-grandson of Kiai Haj Hazyam Asyari explained that NU's more moderate view, in the end, made interaction and communication in the Islamic world easier. So that Muslims in Indonesia, especially NU people, when they meet and interact with Muslims in the world can connect. Compared to before there was NU, said Hakim Mahfuds, when met by Compass.com at the Teburang Islamic Boarding School, Wednesday. During the colonial period, 
Kiai Haj Hazyam Asyari had a great influence that made the Dutch and Japanese feel reluctant. When the Dutch colonized, Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari was awarded a service star. But the gift from the Netherlands was rejected by him. During the Dutch era, Kiai Hazim had issued a jihad fatwa against the invaders, and it was forbidden to go to Hajj on a Dutch ship. According to Ahmed Zubaydi, lecturer at UIN Jakarta, in Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari's book, A Kiai's Devotion to the Country, the fatwa made the Netherlands dizzy. The fatwa of jihad against, the invaders sparked resistance against, the Dutch in various places. Then the fatwa that it was forbidden to go for Hajj on a Dutch ship made many prospective pilgrims to cancel their departure to the Holy Land. While during the Japanese occupation, Kiai Hajj Hazim Asyari was arrested for refusing to pay respects to Tokyo every morning. In the early days of Indonesia's independence, the Netherlands by riding Nika intended to re-occupy Indonesia. To save Indonesia's independence, Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari together with the ulama issued a jihad resolution against the Dutch troops and their allies. The Jihad Resolution signed in Surabaya was able to awaken the spirit of the struggle to defend Indonesia's independence. The next time, the Jihad Fatwa gave rise to resistance movements everywhere against the Dutch and Allied troops. One of the greatest and heroic, namely the battle in Surabaya, by the Saroboyo Arik Arik, on November 10, 1945. Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari died on July 25, 1947. His body was interred at the Teburang Islamic Boarding School, Jombang. One of the many major contributions of Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari to the Indonesian nation, namely to unite the two warring camps to determine the basis of the newly born Indonesian state. On the instructions of Kiai Haj Hazim Asyari, the scholars who were divided into two camps in determining the basis of the Indonesian state finally agreed to abolish the seven words in the Jakarta Charter. The abolition of the seven words in the Jakarta Charter, in addition to stopping the basic polemic of the state, also maintains the unity and integrity of Indonesia within the framework of the unitary state of the Republic of Indonesia NKRI. For his services during his lifetime to the country, Hadratasi Sheikh Hazim Asyari was designated a national hero on November 17, 1964. Share your thoughts and comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So we can continue to make more videos, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to press the bell button. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.